what's up you guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to a new video today we want to go ahead and show you guys our favorite off-road spot which is in Gorman our favorite because it's super close by it's about an hour and a half away pit stop we are at El Dorado Sinaloense it is my family's restaurant so go ahead and check it out also we are in the middle of filming a Bruise and Foods episode with ZR2 Chris if you guys don't know who he is he is the SoCal's best ZR2 of course he got the sickest color ever sand dune metallic so we're gonna go ahead and do an in-depth review of the truck go ahead and check it out I got the Huevo con Machaca. If you guys don't know, uh, the restaurant is uh, Sinaloense style. So they specialize in Sinaloense style food. It's so bomb. You guys have to try their Machaca uh, and their uh, Frijoles Puercos. It's like beans with chorizo, spicy. Oh my God, it's so freaking good. Right now, we just got off Smoky Bear Road. There's two entrances that you can go through to get to Gorman. The one that we chose to is Smoky Bear and we chose Smoky Bear just because you get into the off-road section the training area a little bit faster and it is about 11 minutes before the main entrance which is another one called Gorman and so you pretty much get off make a left and then there's gonna be like a little road right here leading to it which there's signs everywhere there you go you got all your state park signs everywhere here we go entering Hungry Valley so here we are pulling into the pay station it is five dollars per day there we go here's pricing so five dollar day use overnight is ten bucks this is California Ranger controlled so all your protection laws are in place so your helmet can ride without a helmet one of the many reasons why we like to come to gorman is they have their uh off-road 4x4 practice track with that is just a uh, man-made obstacles of just like random uh uh hills rocks and stuff like that let me show you what we have going on real quick right here on this side there you go this is one of probably about 15 or 16 obstacles that they have here this is like a little rock course which me and Chris are tackling on. Check this out though! Sheesh! Let me get a little bit more of an angle to show you guys what we have here. This is the main hills right here which they have different um, obstacle ranges I guess from like easy to getting a little bit harder. You got the steps, you got see some concrete right here. Behind it, there's some mud. Sometimes this is just like an open uh, sand track. There's like a sand pit right there. There are some buried tubes over there. If you guys see Donut Media, they came and tested out high low truck over here. But yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys around real quick. Gorman, California, this is a practice track. So you see a lot of our videos here because it's one, like I said, super close and two, it's super fun. You have a lot of uh, multiple, uh, just a lot, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So check out these views, you guys. This is Gorman, like I said, this is 19,000 acres of your playground. So there is multiple campsites spread along the area where you have your dedicated fire pit, your bench, and your shade. Uh, dedicated bathrooms as well. So most places do have their bathrooms, which for the most part, they're really clean. They don't have um, water, it's just a hole. You do have to watch out as you're walking though. You might see some crazy creatures around. <laughs> Chill, <wait. laughs> Yeah, so you will see some cautionary uh, signs uh, throughout the trails, basically. Uh, sometimes it could be rattlesnakes, it could be deers, it could be bears. Um, but yeah, just keep an eye out. Follow uh, the Hungry Valley page so you guys can see what trails are open or closed. 
there's a trail for everybody, all types of uh, expertise from beginners to right here down the middle. It's just like a wash area if you want something nice and just flat. If you guys want to test out your pre-runners, all that kind of stuff, super dope. You have enough trees. You have a lot of um, vegetation here, a lot of different ones. I don't know exactly what they're called, but there's a lot of vegetation here. And it's, uh, let's see what the temperature is like. Right now is, uh, you can't see my watch, but it is 85 degrees and with a nice little breeze going on. You also have the Rangers, the ones I showed you guys up front. They are driving around. They just passed by right there in the bottom. They are driving around making sure everything looks good if you guys are not in trouble. Obviously, you know, drinking and driving, stuff like that. They keep the place clean and safe, so. Thank you, Park Rangers. Now, if you guys have any other SoCal spots, I know right here we do have Rower Flat um, on the opposite side of the freeway, so that's another one that most people go to. I personally haven't been to myself, but let me know, comment down below what other SoCal spots you guys go to. We're gonna go ahead and check those out and see if we can go ahead and make out some videos and stuff like that. This is what little gazebos look like. Like I said, there's multiple, multiple gazebos, multiple campsites. So you're bound to find a spot here. It does get really busy. busy. <laughs> it does get really busy during like long weekends, Memorial Day, Black Friday, all that kind of stuff. But check it out. You get your metal table with that rubber around it. You get your fire pit with a little grate on top. And I mean, all this is just like ashes that fly away from the wind, but it's always super clean. We have never encountered anything being really dirty here. Now to my surprise, this is the first time I actually see a bathroom with water. It actually has water and a sink. Pretty clean. That one does not have water, I believe, because it has those uh, those pipes going up, meaning that's the breather for the toilet so that a stench can go out. And then once you leave, obviously, we have your dumpster. So pack in, pack out. Make sure all your trash is out and about. And then there is speed limits in the campsites speed limit is 15 so mind your speed while you're out here and then just leash your dogs that's about it all right so this is what i was talking about some trail markers so you have the difficulty level on a uh, vehicle which is a full-size vehicle maybe like a jeep a truck you have atvs and then you have motorcycles uh, dirt bikes the uh, biggest one which is the jeeps and trucks that one is also for like side by sides so you have a circle for the easiest one, and then you have a square, which is a little bit harder, a triangle, a little bit harder, and then diamond. Diamond's gonna be the hardest one. So uh, just know what level of expertise you are as far as um, what, you're, what you know how to drive and stuff like that, right? So just be careful. Keep an eye out on those uh, markers before you hit those trails as well. Let's hit it. Here is the Gorman exit. This is where you get off the five. We got the five right behind us. Uh, we have a Carl's Jr. We have some steakhouse. There is a Chevron. There is a 76, which is where we're at right now. Uh, just to safely um, put some air in the tires and stuff like that. There's a McDonald's. So you got that Mickey D's. If you're here in the morning, you're gonna grab that breakfast. Got my little brother, Andrew, helping me out, pumping up the tire air. Young Last Fit. Shout out to Last Fit. If you guys haven't seen my previous videos, they're the ones that hook me up with pretty much all the lighting on the truck that's OEM. And hit up Last Fit because they do have a discount code at Drive Safe Full. That was our quick trip to Gorman. Whoa, whoa, before I let you guys go, shout out to this fool right here. Shout out. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. 
uh, I do shout out you guys. If you guys want to shout out, send me your favorite picture of your ride uh, with a screenshot that you are subscribed to the channel. Would really appreciate that. And I'll go ahead and shout you out. Later, y'all.